Today I will be reviewing the Alani Coffee Protein Coffee Cappuccino Flavor. Found these at Dollar Tree for a buck twenty-five. I thought, well, I'm gonna give these a try. I have tried the regular protein shakes, and they're kind of iffy. Um, uh, I found those, uh, if I remember, maybe either Tom Thumb or uh, the Vitamin Shop. Uh, these are 90 calories. Uh, total fats 2.5. Saturated is 1.5. Cholesterol is 15. Sodium is 135. Uh, 8 net carbs. 6 sugars, which includes 5 sugar uh, added sugars. 10 grams of protein and this does contain coffee obviously Let's see where it says how much well I don't know where it says that Okay, contains 10, uh, 110 mg's of caffeine. Yeah, 110. Looks like 10, but it's really, it's two ones. <laughs> like I said, I got this from the Dollar Tree. Now, they do manufacture other flavors. Uh, salted caramel, vanilla, uh, cappuccino, which is this. Uh, maple donut and mocha. Um, I went back to the doll. I went to a different Dollar Tree. Uh, I got these almost like two weeks ago. And a couple of days ago, I went to Dollar a different Dollar Tree, and they have some uh, other ones. But by then, I forgot well which flavors I have. So I guess it's smart enough. I should uh, take pictures of what I have, and then when I see the other flavors, I can grab them and try them. I mean, for a buck twenty-five, you can't go wrong to try this. And I shook them up, and they've been in a refrigerator. The cappuccino. Oh, it says it right here in, in bigger letters. 110 mg's of caffeine. So this does almost like a cup of coffee, I guess. Hmm. It kind of almost smells like co burnt coffee or coffee that's been uh, made long. You know, been sitting for hours on end. Or the uh, smell of a convenience store coffee. You, you know, when you walk in, that's, you know, stuff that's been sitting a long time. Not fresh, not freshly made, but stuff that's been sitting around. I give this a 2 out of 5. It tastes like it's very watered down. No flavor really. Uh, watered down coffee. This is exactly what it tastes like. Plain black coffee that's been watered down. And I guess, you know, that would be a good flavor for somebody that's sick or... or uh, um, Recovering from surgery that doesn't want a strong coffee taste or you know, you know, what have you But you better be careful give them uh, caffeine that make the stomach upset But yeah, this is a two out of five. Yeah, this this is uh, You have to doctor the sucker up <laughs> with cream and probably some extra sugar 
uh, or, or, or flavoring syrups. It just, it just really tastes like it's watered down. Now, if it had a stronger coffee taste, it'd be better. So I, I am disappointed in this flavor. Um, two out of five. Um, and plus, if it had more calf, I mean, more uh, protein in it, say twenty. Uh, yeah, the, the the packaging. I don't know. They make it look pretty. Uh, so you think it's going to taste good? No. It kind of reminds me of um, if you if you ever been a patient inside of a hospital, water down coffee that way. That's what it kind of reminds me of. You know when they put you on the blend diet. But yeah, this now this can have some potential. Like I said, you know if you have uh, some coffee syrup, you know flavoring syrups. Doctor the sucker up. I think that and some creamer, this does have potential to be good that way. And you, you know, this is just a basic base uh, coffee. But for buck twenty five, you can't go wrong to give it a try. Now, I would be pissed if I spent four or five bucks on this sucker, and that then this thing would have gone back to the damn store. Um. So, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below.